David here with Fig Boot on Pens. Uh, this has been a, a pretty special week for me. Uh, in non-pen related news, I had the uh, outstanding opportunity to travel down to Augusta, Georgia to attend a practice round for the Masters Golf Tournament. Uh, it was spectacular. Uh, if you've never been, I would highly recommend entering their annual ticket lottery. If you're a fan of golf, it is truly an amazing, amazing place. Um, it's the most well manicured, manicured course that I've ever seen. Uh, the grass is perfection. It's like walking on a carpet. When you first set foot on it, you think to yourself, is this grass even real? It's that perfect. Uh, during the practice rounds, you could actually bring a camera, which I did, and was able to get uh, some great photos. Uh, here's one I took of McElroy hitting his approach shot on 18. Uh, I've been to many golf tournaments previously, and nothing can compare to the Masters. Uh, you hear press and players wax eloquently every year about how special a place it is, and they really, really aren't overselling it. It is truly a place like no other. Uh, the second special thing that happened this week was uh, I passed a thousand subscribers to my YouTube channel. Uh, I started doing reviews because I thought it would be fun to put these together, which it has been. Uh, I started with the attitude that as long as I was having fun, that that's all that really mattered. Uh, it's a nice bonus that some folks out there enjoy the channel and find these reviews entertaining and useful. Uh, and I really appreciate the positive feedback and support that I've received. Uh, and I do put a lot of effort into attempting to create some quality product for you. Well, today I have one more special thing. Not only do I have a review, but I have a giveaway as well. Um, what we have today is my first pen from an Italian brand by the name of Stipula. Uh, Stipula was uh, founded by a man named Renzo Salvadori in Florence, Italy in 1973. And Stipula in Latin means straw or stick, which is what the ancient Romans uh, broke when they signed a contract or entered a commitment. Uh, the Stipula pen I have today is one that they came out with in 2014 called the Speed. And this is the box that it comes in with a nice Stipula logo and their oak leaf, uh, oak, oak leaf logo there. Um, what I'm gonna do is go over the parts and features of the pen, talk about things I care for, some of the things I don't care for, provide some measurements, some size comparisons, and then provide a writing sample. I purchased this pen from Pen Chalet, where they currently have the Speed on sale for half off its retail price. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. But Ron from Pen Chalet uh, generously sent along a second pen for me to give away to a viewer as a thanks for reaching my 1000K subscriber uh, milestone. So stay tuned at the, uh, near the end of the review, I will let you know exactly how to enter the giveaway. So. We have the box here. There's a little sleeve and then a little drawer pull and we have the pen. Uh, underneath, there's just a, a standard booklet and with some drawings uh, and filling instructions and things like that in both English and Italian, pretty standard. And then we have the pen. Uh, it comes in a variety of colors. Uh, some with uh, chrome colored accents and some with gold accents. This one has a matte black finish. Uh, it's an interesting pen with some very distinct features and it's designed to evoke the look and feel of 1960s Italian sports cars. Now, in my opinion, some of these features work very well and some of the ones uh, not so much, but we'll go into that. Uh, the end here is rounded. There's no logo at the end. Uh, and the clip is very wide. Uh, it does have a decent amount of spring to it, but it does kind of match the shape of the pen, which I thought was interesting. Um, there is a, a logo or a letter S right here at the uh, top of the clip. I'm not sure if that's for speed or, or stipula. I'm thinking speed just because uh, the, it's a different logo than the, or it's a different uh, logo or lettering than the stipula logo. Uh, and it does say uh, Italy on the side of the clip as well. Uh, kind of the main distinctive feature of this pen is the wavy transition in between the cap and the barrel, which expose the section. And I do like that. I think it's an interesting feature. Uh, then here, once we start on the barrel, we have uh, the stipula oak leaf. Um, 
And then we have the body which tapers down to a, uh, to a little knob at the end here. Uh, I'm not this call, call this a, a piston knob just because it is actually a, uh, uh, an internal converter that uh, is inside here. So it is not a true piston. It's a captive converter, uh, and I, I will say it's not the smoothest to turn, and the, the knob, since it's a little on the short side, can be a little slippery. It's just kind of a little stubbish. Um, that the cap is held on by a magnet, and so it uh, caps with more of a, a click rather than a snap, and the end of the section here is magnetized. Um, the cap must be aligned. You can't obviously put it like this, so the cap needs to be aligned in a certain fa fashion in order to cap it. Uh, and the, you can see here on the section that there are some slots to guide. Um, now, every once in a while it still gets caught up sometimes, but um, for the most part it works well and is a good style choice and, and a good tool in order to make sure that you can cap the pen correctly. Here is a look at the uh, the steel nib. I believe it's a Bach nib. And as we'll see in the writing sample, that uh, this medium nib performs very well. Uh, that uh, it's, it's very nice. Uh, it's decently smooth and has a little bit of feedback to it, but for a steel nib, performs very well. Um, then we have this uh, traditional or very non-traditional section. Uh, now, I typically hold my pens very close to the end of the section. So um, it doesn't have an issue for me, but you can see here that these wavy parts extend out at the top and the bottom. So if you held your hand a little bit further back, if your hand is on the bottom, depending on what your grip is, that you might have your finger on top of that and it might feel a little bit odd. Uh, so just understand that if you have a non-traditional grip uh, or hold it a little further back, that it might be a, a little, have a little bit of uh, time to get used to that, but it just might feel a little odd at first. It would for me, but other folks, it might not bother them at all. Um, one other thing about this section that when inking it, uh, the section does, these grooves really do retain a lot of ink, uh, but it's easily cleaned. I cleaned it up with some tissue and I didn't even need to wet the tissue and it cleaned up fine, but just understand that there's a little more effort in cleaning it than, uh, than normal. And I will say one downside is that it doesn't have an ink window. Since uh, there is the captive converter in here, it would have been nice to be able to see the ink level in some form, but there is no ink window here. Now, this pen typically retails for $99. And as far as a price value, in my opinion, that price is too high for this pen. Uh, I, I just don't feel this is a $100 pen. But currently at Pen Chalet, the Speed is on sale for half price. And I feel that a $49.50 price is a much more attractive and uh, appropriate price for this pen. Uh, in addition, Pen Chalet has set up a, a discount code for my viewers, which can be used to get 10% off of your total order of any purchase on the site. Uh, and that code is FIGBOOT. Uh, and that code can be used at any time. Uh, and I believe for any products. I'm not sure if there, I don't believe there's any restrictions on that. So not just for this pen, but if you do decide to purchase a speed, then the 10% discount on top of the sales price would make it even more reasonable. So. Um, what I'm going to do for you now is show you some measurements, some size comparisons, and then provide a writing sample. And then I will let you know how you can enter the giveaway to receive a Stipula pen of your own. So here we go with some size comparisons for the Stipula Speed. Um, First of all, I wanted to show you, this is the, um, the other Stipula Speed that I have, the one that we'll actually be giving away. And this one has the gold trim, and the, uh, the, it actually has a gold colored nib at a gold section. Uh, and it has the slick black finish. Uh, and that if you notice that the magnets in these pens like to stick to each other. So, that uh, the magnets in here attract to each other, which I thought was a little interesting. Um, 
because here, let me show you a size comparison. First of all, we have the size comparison of a Visconti uh, Van Gogh. And that here is also a Visconti uh, House of Music or Hall of Music, excuse me, pen. And just like the, the stipulas attracted to each other, the Hall of Music and the uh, Van Gogh actually repel each other. So these actually repel each other. <laughs> I just thought that was interesting. So some other size comparisons. Uh, here it is with a Lamy 2000. Uh, and here it is with a Pelican 1000. Uh, and that uh, then some other size comparisons, kind of more on the price range. We have a Lamy Studio, uh, a Twisby Eco, and then a Lamy All Star. So Here we go with the writing sample for the stipula speed. And this one comes in a medium nib, and this is in a medium nib as well. And they are steel nibs. And the ink is Parker Quink. This is Parker Quink. Um, you know, it's generally regarded as a, a very serviceable ink. Nothing too exciting, but uh, this is the bottle it comes in. Uh, it means a lot to me though, because it was my very first bottle of ink that I ever received. And so I've probably used it more than any other ink. This was the only ink bottle I had for a good, probably two years. And, um, and it's maybe about halfway done, but uh, I had one fountain pen that used it and uh, and I would use this on a daily basis at work. So uh, it kind of has a sentimental place for me. <sighs> and here we go with the rest of the writing sample. Um, for a steel nib, it is relatively smooth. I'm not, you're not going to get a ton of line variation out of here. Um, but if you press it, you can get a little bit out of here. Uh, in regard to wetness, I wouldn't categorize this as an overly wet nib. And in regard to reverse writing, it is a little scratchy, but it does work. And now we'll see what it looks like in regard to some fast writing. See if the feed keeps up. And there's no issue whatsoever. Um, like I said before, it's decently smooth uh, with just a touch of feedback. And so for a, a steel nib, it performs very, very well. So here we have the Stipula Speed. Um, it, it's a very unique pen and that with some very interesting features and this gold trimmed version can be yours. All you need to do is two things. Um, one is be a subscriber to my channel and two is leave a comment below. Um, maybe let me know if you have a specific pen or, or topic you'd like to see covered in a future video. Uh, that's all you need to do to enter the contest. Uh, the last day to enter will be Friday, April 15th, 2016, and sometime after midnight Eastern on the 16th, I will randomly select a winner from those that meet the criteria and uh, PM you to let you know that you won and coordinate shipping to wherever in the world you might reside. So thanks again to Ron at Pen Chalet for providing this pen for giveaway. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support, and I'll talk to you later.